Y'all ain't never been baby minutes. He's the best soldier ever. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Um, but uh, something simple, simple, simple. Um, if, if you guys have been here for a minute, you, you, you've definitely heard it. Okay. But um, it, it's called the Four Minute Mile, um, and it's just a, a, a story about hey, how quick can someone run a mile? And if you were, does anyone know what year the first time someone broke the four minute mile? 1858. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The first time, the first time someone broke the first time someone broke the four minute mile was 1952. Okay. So think about this. For years and years and years, thousand nine hundred and fifty two years, up to that point, everybody believed it was one hundred percent, okay? Again, one hundred percent impossible to run a mile in under four minutes. Okay, can you imagine the whole world, the whole world thinking that something's not possible? Sure. Scientists literally said your bodies can't do it. Damn. You would fit. It would fit your 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 the the bones, your legs would physically break if you were if you were moving at that pace. Okay, so like scientists, people that are smart, people that are geniuses in that era were saying it's just no way. Lot like logically, your body can't do it, right? And then one guy. Roger Bannister in 1952 in the Olympics, all right, for the first time ever, he broke the four minute mile and he did it in under four minutes. And then guess what happens? 18 more people that year did it right after him. So for 1900 years, no, everybody thought it was impossible. There's no way you can do it. One guy does it and then he, he breaks the wall down and 18 more people that year do it. And now you got people in high school that can do it. Oh, damn. All right. Now, Nothing changed from when he did it to then 18 more people were all of a sudden, like science changed, training trained. Not, nothing really specifically tr changed. You know, the only thing that changed was people's belief systems. People actually believed that they could do it. Look, and here's what's crazy. What else in your life are you fooled on that you've grown up on? Genuinely, unfortunately, that your parents, your family have told you you can't do, or you, because you look at the world that's so average, that you're thinking, I can't do. I, je I believe that I can't do it. I believe I can't sell. I believe I can't do the job. I believe I can't be crazy successful. I believe I can't produce at a high level. Like, there's so, there's so many things you gotta look at. Like, hey, what's in my mind that I don't believe that I can actually do? And here's the thing, you can do it, right? There's nothing special about those other 18 people that did it that year. They actually just believe that you can do it. This job is the exact same way. I see the people that produce and do well, and then they, they get promoted to level one, level two, level three, mastermind and above. Sometimes I think they're just so stupid, they believe in themselves that they actually get promoted. You know? Some of us, some of you guys are so smart, you're so logical, you look at so many analytics, you look at it from such a, such a, from such a theoretical smart point that you don't get it done, that you overcomplicate this business. Right, this business, I'm so fortunate. It's meant for idiots, okay? Because oh. I did it. Oh, right. I want to get it. What's up? I'm gonna be. Uh, yeah, Crystal. Okay. Look, <laughs> look, you genuinely just have whatever you believe that it's like. Well, I gotta be this. I gotta dress like this. I gotta talk like this. I gotta close like this. I gotta be. I gotta look a certain way. Blah blah blah. Get that out of your head. All right, and just tell yourself, dude, I am capable of doing it. Like genuinely believe in yourself, like, dude, I am worthy. What do we really do, guys, to get promoted? Like, really, what do we sell? We sell customers AT and T. Is that hard? No. 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 Is the product good? Yes. Yeah. Like, is the phones that they're getting good? Oh hell yeah. Yes. Yes. Are they usually getting a cheaper bill? Hell yeah. Yes. I got a VIP number, which, by the way, I know someone said, "Well, our customer service, like, well, compared to Verizon or T-Mobile or Boost, they get shitty customer service." What do you yeah. mean? Okay. So compared to everyone else, we got good customer service. Yeah. Okay. So we sell. So we sell phones. That's really easy. Mm. And then what? We teach someone else how to sell. Exactly. Copy and paste. That's so, that's so simple. Copy okay. and paste, boy. Copy and you, don't need a, you don't need to be a genius to do it. So, hey, just believe in yourself that you can generally do the job every single day. And I promise you, like, there's no reason why you can't grow. Okay? Yeah! Sound good? Yeah!